Hi, this is Jason Nash, and this clip on free compliance checking tools is from my VMware vSphere design training course. Enjoy! I've mentioned before, there's two compliance checkers available from VMware. One is for vSphere, that's the hardening guide. The other one's for PCI, uh, for if you do credit card transaction data, and it'll look at your Windows systems. Both are available from VMware's site. And Compliance Checker for vSphere compares your current configuration against the vSphere hardening guide. Nice thing is I can point it at my cluster and see the entire cluster at one time and it'll show you how everything stacks up. And you know, I've talked a bit about the hardening guide before. It's a great guide. Doesn't mean you need to go through every single option and do the recommended setting. You need to make sure these things apply to you. So in a minute when I run this, it's going to be against a default configuration of vSphere. There's going to be a lot of green checks and there's going to be a lot of red X's and things like that. Doesn't mean that I need or you need to go through and play whack-a-mole and fix all those you know, red marks. It just means that you need to be aware of them and you need to understand what you're implementing and not implementing and more importantly, why you're not implementing. The second tool we'll show you is the PCI check tool. Uh, so it'll check against PCI DSS 1.2. So let's go ahead and jump over to the lab. I've already got a remote desktop set up. It's you can deploy these to just a standard Windows system. I've got one here. Uh, really, the only prereqs, um, you're going to want .NET 2.0 and Java uh, runtime. You'll need both of those. Go ahead and install those on your system, and then you're good to go. Very lightweight, easy to use tools. We'll run through a quick install. Here we are, a very boring Windows 2003 server. Really not much already installed. I've already got the Explorer window opened up to my uh, share on for the lab. And I'll go to Compliance Checker, and we'll do the uh, Hardening Guide Check first. So VMware Compliance Checker for vSphere, double-click that. Yes, I want to run it. And welcome to the Compliance Checker for vSphere. We'll hit Next. Accept the licensing agreement and click Next. I'll take the default path. You can change that if you need to. And it wants the correct path to Java. So if you haven't installed Java, you need to install the JRE. I already have, and the default path is good. So we'll hit Next. And Install. So off it goes. Copies a couple of files. It'll finish here pretty quickly. Like I said, it's a very lightweight tool. And Finish. So that was simple. So I told it to go ahead and let the box check for a desktop icon. So we'll double-click that. And it's going to ask me for some information. So to act, you know, to assess the compliance, enter name and IP address of the vCenter server. So that's easy enough. vCenter.nashlab.local, and I'll use my domain administrator account. You can view most recent results. So if you've run this before, you can always pull those back up. That way, you don't have to run it every time. It's got links here to the compliance center on VMware site, the hardening guide that it's going to reference, and uh, the site for compliance checker for vSphere or the the help site. You can do things over here. So if you want to test out Configuration Manager, you can uh, request a trial license. You're going to notice, depending on when you watch this and how VMware does, I mean, they've, they've had ConfigureSoft for a while, but a lot of these things still point to the ConfigureSoft site. So don't be surprised if that pops up. Data sheets, discussion communities, things like that. So now that we've got our stuff entered, I'm just going to assess compliance. Off it runs, you'll see it grabbing my three vSphere hosts and... Windows being Windows, I will say allow blocked content, yes. So that was simple, right? I've got three vSphere hosts in my environment. It found all three. Again, these are default installs of vSphere. I haven't made really any changes. Uh, again, same thing here on the right for the toolbar. And you can just scroll through what things are. So you've got green check marks for past, red X's for failed, and we just go down the list. So it's like... You know, ensure ESX firewalls configured for high security. Well, that's default these days. Disable web access. ESX only. I run ESXi, so I, I pass by default. Enable lockdown mode. I don't enable lockdown mode. I'm in a lab environment. I have to dig myself out of a hole on a regular, you know, regularly, so I don't enable that. But you can see here that it just goes down the entire list. Neat thing is, you can expand these out. So lockdown mode can be enabled. Configuring NTP time sync. Actually, I do need to do that. That's a good reminder. And it just gives you information on each of the items. If you have the compliant, or I'm sorry, the hardening guide, uh, it's got the 
you know, kind of the numbers for looking through the hardening guide. So you can search for, you know, HCN04 and find this item. And it gives you kind of pros and cons in the hardening guide. So it's a good way to cross check and cross reference these. It's a great tool. This is a tool that uh, when I talk to a lot of customers and others that I deal with, they have no idea this tool exists. You know, they'll sit there with a the hardening guide and, and an Excel spreadsheet and start building this when, as you saw, even if I had, you know, 15 hosts in my cluster, it would have taken less than five minutes to build that exact same information. So it's just one of those tools a lot of people don't know about, and I think it's, it's very useful. So we'll close this one, and now we'll do the PCI compliance tool. Just real quick, you can always do view most recent. And again, Windows being Windows, allow blocked content, yes, and it just pulls up the last check it ran with the date and everything there. So we'll close that, and now we'll install the PCI compliance checker. And again, you know, you may be under PCI compliance. A lot of you probably are not. But this is uh, kind of gives you an idea of what the config uh, configuration manager can do for Windows systems. And uh, 1.2 uh, is a little bit dated for PCI compliance as well. So I'll check the box and say go ahead and launch. Again, very easy install, very lightweight. Uh, the first one required Java. This one was wanted .NET. 2.0, and it's going to want to say, give me five Windows machines uh, and login information. And you can always say, use the same share name, user ID, and password for all machines if you'd like. I'm going to do my domain controller. My share is going to be, uh, I believe it's just the share name, C$. dollar. User ID, I'll use my administrator again. I'll include it in the assessment. Not sure why you would type it in and not, but, you know. I'll go ahead, hit assess. It connects to the system, looks at everything it needs to look at, and it'll come back again with a sheet showing, you know, how compliant you are. And again, this is a default install of Windows 2003 server running as a domain controller. So uh, there's no telling what it's going to come back with. Again, Windows being Windows will allow. Yes. And here we are. So overall compliance, I'm at a whopping 52%. That's not great. Down the list, it goes through and gives you all the information. Passed, failed, unknown, or NA. So for the most part, it's about, like we said, 50-50. And again, these go back to the PCI compliance information, which on the main screen, when we ran this a second ago right here, down at the bottom, you can pull up the 1-2 guideline, some information on the user's guide, configures off rules and remediations, and about the compliance checker. So if you're curious about any of these, go grab the 1-2 guidelines. But it's things like, you know, disable all unnecessary and insecure services, serve service, cluster service, DHCP, DNS, things like that. Um, you can even click these. It doesn't look like you can click them, but you can click them. And it'll give you kind of an overview here of what you need to do. So that'll do for PCI compliance. And again, if you're under other uh, subset rules or regulations, you can do configuration manager and apply similar policies to those. So as you can see, very simple tools, easy to use. If you're not under PCI, I still highly, highly recommend that you try out the compliance checker for vSphere. So that concludes the lab. Let's jump back over to the uh, slide deck. And I think we're about done with the lesson. Thanks for watching. For more information regarding our training videos, please visit www.trainsignal.com.